The 65-inch Panasonic MZ2000 with MLA OLED panel. The 65-inch Panasonic MZ1500 with OLED EX panel plus heatsink. The 55-inch Panasonic MZ980 with HDMI 2.1 ports. The 55-inch Panasonic MZ800 OLED. These are some of the new 2023 OLED TVs on display at the Japanese manufacturer's launch event in Berlin. And for those of you who for one reason or another prefer to avoid OLEDs, there's even a new MX950 mini LED TV with VA-type LCD panel and quantum dot colors. The flagship Panasonic MZ2000 has been unveiled at CES back in January, with the 55 and 65 inch models featuring the most advanced MLA or Micro Lens Array OLED panel from LG Display. Boasted by Panasonic's bespoke multi-layered heatsink configuration to achieve even higher peak brightness, as well as reduce the occurrence of image retention and OLED burn-in. The largest 77-inch MZ2000 is not equipped with an MLA OLED panel, and so won't look as bright as its smaller siblings. In a darkroom demonstration, Panasonic appeared to have improved the near-black and color gradation on the MZ2000 compared to last year's LZ2000 OLED. The sub-flagship MZ1500 series doesn't have MLA, but still uses an OLED EX panel with heatsink, marketed as Master OLED Pro by Panasonic, so we can expect around 1000 nits of peak brightness on a 10% window after calibration to D65 white point. The Panasonic MZ1500 will be available in four screen sizes, namely 42, 48, 55 and 65 inches, though the UK will only get the larger two versions. The TV features a swivel design which has typified high-end Panasonic OLEDs in recent years, plus integrated front-firing speakers and subwoofer to deliver better Dolby Atmos experience, billed as Dynamic Theatre Surround Pro by the company. Like the top-tier MZ2000, the Panasonic MZ1500 is powered by the brand's HCX Pro AI processor, tuned by preeminent Hollywood colorist Stefan Sonnenfeld. And if previous Panasonic OLED TVs are anything to go by, the MZ1500 should benefit from class-leading near-black luminance accuracy and color fidelity to faithfully reproduce the creative intent. The most accurate filmmaker mode picture preset has undergone further upgrades, with the ambient color temperature sensing responding appropriately to any lighting conditions to preserve accurate color reproduction. For instance, by making the picture warmer when watched in typical European room lighting, or brightening near-black gamma in very bright environments. All the major HDR formats are supported, including HDR10 Plus Adaptive and Dolby Vision IQ. Due to the use of a MediaTek HDMI 2.1 chipset, only two out of four HDMI ports are HDMI 2.1, of which one is the designated eARC port. So if you wish to utilize eARC functionality in conjunction with a soundbar, AV receiver, or home theater system, you will only be left with one HDMI 2.1 connection, which can be an inconvenience if you own multiple HDMI 2.1 source devices. The Panasonic MZ1500 OLED supports Dolby Vision Gaming from the Xbox Series X, although it's capped at 4K 60Hz indicating that the TV is not blessed with the new MediaTek Pentonic 1000 SoC which can do 4K 120Hz Dolby Vision. We don't think this is a deal breaker at all, since a well-implemented HDR10 source-based tone mapping can be as good if not better than the Dolby Vision gaming experience presented by the Xbox Series X. And Panasonic has added a number of new gaming features on its 2023 OLED televisions, including the MZ1500, which will appeal to gamers who want to play games as intended by their creators. Key to this is a new HDR True Game Mode which brings all the color accuracy features available for watching movies into the world of gaming. Together with HDR tone map set to clipping by default to activate source based tone mapping. Essentially, a color accurate HDIG game mode without needing users to jump through hoops. In addition, True Game Mode can be calibrated using Portrait Display's Kalman calibration software, after which the picture preset will be marked by a Kalman logo. Besides good picture quality, audio also contributes to a great gaming experience. Towards this end, 
Panasonic has implemented several gaming sound modes tailored to the titles played. For example, an FPS sound mode that amplifies enemies' footsteps to let you gain a tactical advantage. Other HDMI 2.1 gaming features include 4K 120Hz resolution, low input lag, as well as multi-format VRR support, such as AMD FreeSync and NVIDIA G-Sync compatibility. Panasonic has even signed a partnership with Activision to become the official TV partner for Diablo 4. Because if you want to experience the war between heaven and hell, you might as well watch the world burn in stunning picture quality. On the smart TV front, the MZ1500 features Panasonic's latest OS, namely My Home Screen 8.0 with support for all key video streaming services, improved accessibility options, built-in Alexa voice control or with Google Assistant enabled devices, as well as the relaxing My Scenery function which has new nature sounds freshly encoded in Dolby Atmos. Beneath the Panasonic MZ1500 comes the MZ980 OLED series, available in four screen sizes of 42, 48, 55 and 65 inches, although the largest model won't be coming to the UK. Compared to the MZ1500, the Panasonic MZ980 won't be equipped with the multi-layered heatsink and so won't go as bright, and the mid-range OLED lacks the beefier speaker system found on the MZ1500. Panasonic's entry-level OLED TVs for 2023 are the MZ800 and MZ700 in 42-inch, 48-inch, 55-inch and 65-inch sizes. Certain regions will get one model or the other. These are 120Hz OLED with 4K 60Hz HDMI ports and step-down 4K Color Engine Pro video processor, not to mention Google TV rather than Panasonic's own My Home Screen Smart TV platform. At the Berlin launch event, Panasonic also announced its first-ever mini-LED TV in the shape of the MX950, which is available in 55, 65 and 75 inches. The UK will only get the 55 and 65 inch models. It uses a VA-type LCD panel with quantum dot enhancement film. Though Panasonic refused to be drawn on exact peak brightness figures and local dimming zone count. In a brief demo, we thought the rectangular outline of the halation looked very similar to that seen on 2016's DX900, Panasonic's last full array local dimming LED LCD TV. Otherwise, the Panasonic MX950 Mini LED TV boasts many features of the high-end MZ series OLEDs, including HCX Pro AI processor, improved filmmaker mode with ambient compensation, and two HDMI 2.1 ports capable of 4K 120Hz gameplay. If you are undecided about whether to buy a Panasonic OLED or Mini LED TV, one place where you can get good advice is at Richer Sounds. A trusted British AV retailer with more than 50 stores in the UK, as well as a secure e commerce platform for online purchases. If you join the company's VIP club, you will also get six years' warranty included on the vast majority of TVs. So visit your local Richard Sounds store or online at richardsounds.com for your next TV purchase. Thanks again for your support. Okay. It's clear that Panasonic is aiming to bring its renowned color accuracy for watching movies to the gaming realm. But do games actually benefit from accurate colors? To prove it one way or another, I've analyzed the skin tones in two blockbuster PS5 games displayed on the Panasonic OLED, and you can find out the results by clicking here.